I am going to do my empties because my empties box is actually overflowing. <laughs> so I've had to pick up the bits that have fallen out and I need to do this because I hate I'm such a neat freak I really hate like the mess of that it's like I know I've got like lots of clutter but that is well placed clutter <laughs> I'm not a really fan of like things lying around that shouldn't be there because I like things in their place so yes that makes me sound slightly psychotic but there you go some of these things are not empty but that will you know it'll become obvious kind of like why they're there when we get to it so one of my nails was chipped, so I have actually removed my nail varnish with my handy little nail varnish remover jar. If you haven't seen that video, it's the one prior to this, and it's just a very short little video, and then it's got a little bit of an instructional bit at the end about how I made mine, and it's fantastic. So and the little life of Lucy, she commented, and she said about having a jar for light and a jar for dark, and I think I'm going to do that as well, so that's a really good idea, Lucy, so thanks for sharing that. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic, I absolutely love it. And it's got my what I love about it is it's got my nail polish remover in it I don't like the ones from the pound shop I find that that stuff's just really astringent it's not good for my nails I don't like how it makes them feel and I just don't think it's very good in the long run for my nails I do prefer the cutex I've used it forever for years I don't know since I started painting my nails so um I really just like it and I like that it doesn't feel like it's damaging my nails so waffle over <laughs> hopefully I'm in focus I think I am. Yes, I'm in focus for a change. So we will quickly zip through these empties so this is not too much of a long video. So the first thing is Brilliant Brunette Shampoo, which I think it's featured before. I used to use this. This is by John Frieda. Beautiful, beautiful shampoo. I did have quite a few bottles. I used to stock up on it when it was on offer. Um, it's gone up in price dramatically. The offers are not quite as good as they used to be, but I did used to stock up on this because I was brunette. But now I'm red. Um, excuse the hair, I've just literally sprayed it with my sun protection spritz from number seven. Um, yeah, because I'll be walking Millie later on and I could not go out without wearing that stuff on my hair. It definitely makes a huge difference to protecting my colour. Because before I used it, I used to get quite a bit of fade, particularly at the back, because I wear my hair up a lot when it's hot, because I don't like it against my neck. Um, and I got quite a lot of fade at the back where the sun was on the back of my head. But now I don't get that at all with this number seven protection spritz. So it's fantastic. And that'll be heading into an empty soon. It's my second bottle. I'm a bit obsessed with that stuff. Anyway, I'm, st I'm, st I'm still waffling. I don't know how you put up with me. But yeah, this is the um, brunette shampoo. This is what Tony uses. This is... The smells amazing. It's a fantastic shampoo. Absolutely love this one. This is the moisturising. This is the one that kind of is like sort of a taupey sort of colour. It's not the clear gel type one. But it's a fantastic shampoo so I'll continue to get that for Tony. Um, I've got quite a few Johnson's things. We'll do them next. I've got the Daily Essentials General Eye Makeup Remover Pads. Comes in these little containers. They've got quite a nice smell. I actually... I think you get about 30, 25 or 30 in here and I actually use one side one night for both eyes, put it back in dirty side up and then the next night take it out and use the other side so I wouldn't just use one side, I think that, that I like to get as much use out of a product as I can um, but these are actually three for five at Boots. Um, I don't know if the offer's still on, I got that a couple of weeks ago but I snatched that up because um, I think I normally pay about 2 99 or I don't know if they're £3.99, I can't remember, but I pay more than £3 or at least £3 for these and it was three for £5 so I snatched up that deal and I got three um, because they are just amazing. They don't sting my eyes, they remove all my makeup and I absolutely love them. The next Johnson's thing will not dwell on, I love it. It smells like the old baby bath used to. They changed it, the blue one smells fruity and disgusting now but this is what it used to smell like, which is babies which is talcum powder and lotion, just smells beautiful. It's the Johnson's Baby Soft Bath. I have very allergic skin. There are lots of things that I can't use in the bath. I get reactions to it. I come out in hives, it's very painful. So there's lots of things that I just can't use, but Johnson's Baby Bath is my savior because I don't have any kind of reactions to Baby Bath. And I just love the smell of this Johnson's um, Baby Soft Bath. It retails for, I think it's constantly on, um, for £2 or £1.50 at Asda, don't quote me on that, but I think that's the cheapest place that I found this, that they sell it all the time and they often do offers where you can actually pick this up for a pound because that's where I got, I got about 10 bottles at one stage because they were a pound and this is all I tend to use. I do like the Body Shop Satoma Bubbles but I don't normally get there very often and yeah, trying to save pennies and Baby Bath is just a lot cheaper and we use it every night so... 
Um, the next thing is just Johnson's baby wipes. Couldn't be without these. I didn't used to use these at all until I had Tony, and then, well, she's 14 now, but I've never been without them since. We use them, we have some downstairs. Um, we have cheaper variety for the dogs for when they come in from a walk so we can wipe their feet, which are the um, non-scented, I think they're Sainsbury's Basics ones. So we do have some of them, and I always have one of these downstairs. Tony has one in her room, and then I have one in my makeup room, and I have one in the bedroom as well. So we do have a lot of these wipes. I pick them up on offer. Sometimes you can get like a box and it's got six packets in for six pound or something. Um, something stupid like that. Asda often do that offer where you can just buy a big box of them, which is a fantastic deal because I go through these quite a lot. I absolutely love them and I use them on a daily basis. So I love them. And the next thing is empty, but it's not because I've used it. Um, as in not because I've used it all up. This is the Cutex Nourishing Nail Polish Remover. This is actually what I used. There was about this much left in the bottle um, and yeah, it's not even half. I poured it into my jar that I did for my nail polish remover video and yeah, it's just a fantastic nail polish remover. I've used it for years. I cannot tell you how many bottles of this stuff I have um, gone through, but I've been using it for, I wanna say at least the last 10 to 10, 15 years. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've been using it since I was just first painting my nails as a teenager. So yeah, longer than 10 to 15 years. No, I didn't use this at first. I used to use something else. But um, yeah, it's just fantastic. I feel like it doesn't leave my nails feeling brittle or they don't peel. They feel really quite nice and moisturized. It doesn't affect the skin around my nails. So yeah, and I do have sensitive skin. So I just find that the Q-Tex is really, really good. So uh, technically it's empty, but it's empty because I poured it into something else. So if you think I'm being a fraud, I'm really sorry. <laughs> The next thing in here is the um, Schwarzkopf Colour Ultimate. This is the Colour Intense Mask. And it's red and white. These are actually cheaper in Savers. So if you wanted to go and check these out, um, then yeah, check them out at Savers. It's the Claudia Schiffer range. And this is just a hair mask that I use. Now I'm going to show you inside because inside is not what it's like. It's a white mask. But I actually um, I used one of these up. Then I kept the empty tub, which is not this one. No, no, it's not this one. And then what I do did was I took half of it out and put it, half of the new one into the old empty tub. And then I poured half a colour bottle in here, which is the um, the colour ball, half into the other, mixed it up, and then I used it. So um, I've actually, this is my second empty, but I think I threw the other one. Oh no, I think the other one is in here. Yeah, the other one is in here because I've used them both up now. So I've used it like two of them. So half a colour ball, half a mask, mix it up. And then what I do whenever I wash my hair, I just put it on, leave it on for a couple of minutes, allow it to soak in, and then that's it, wash it off. Rather than do the colour mask and then the colour ball separately, I did speak to my um, hairdresser and she said, that's probably the best way to do it. It actually, the colour will soak into the cuticle of the hair is it the cuticle? The colour will soak into the hair from the colour ball and it will soak in with the mask and it'll be really intense and then the colour will actually take better, she says. So, um, yeah. So I have actually used one whole one of these and one whole colour ball. The colour ball is gone because it was all squished up and, yeah, it was just, yeah, there was some on the outside of it so and it does stain so I got rid of it but I have used a whole one of those one of those was empty of the last time I used it I don't know if I featured it in my last video um but yes this is my third one of these I absolutely love these they're just a fantastic treat for your hair the next thing this has actually got product in it um is a shampoo and it's by Jason I actually got this in a Petrus box this is like the worst shampoo ever if anybody likes it, I don't know. It's rose water and chamomile. It does have quite a nice smell. I like the smell of it, but it just takes like, I don't know. It just, you've just got to put like about three handfuls on to get anything of a form. Um, and in our house, when we wash our hair, we do like our shampoos to have like a nice sort of, you put it on and you can feel it and it forms up and it's just, it feels like you're washing your hair. And I know it sounds ridiculous because some shampoos are not forming, but they are cleaning your hair. But for me, when you're like washing your hair and it all forms up nicely, you actually feel like you're doing something and it feels like it's doing something in your hair, if that kind of makes sense. So I do have this Jason shampoo that has basically got, I think it's, you know, it's just over half full. Um, Alec tried it, hated it, Tony tried it and hated it, so bin for that, it's just rubbish. Another thing that I don't like, 
and there's not so much of this left there's actually just you know there's only about that much left in here it's the Garnier ultimate blend shampoo this is the color illuminator with argan oil and cranberry and I love the smell of this it kind of breaks my heart <laughs> but I was using this and I think the first couple of times it was okay but then I did notice that after I was rinsing this off my hair my hair felt very crunchy and quite dry and brittle and I didn't like appreciate the feeling at all it was a horrible feeling and then I used a different shampoo and it didn't feel like that and then I went back to this and then it did feel like that so I thought yeah it's definitely this so I would never buy this one again but I buy from the range because I think the cocoa butter one sounds really nice but this one just did nothing for my hair and it's really horrible so I would never buy that one again um the next thing is by Monu now I can't read it <laughs> but this was the one in the glossy box this is basically the ginger sort of oil now it was you could use it in the bath or you could use it to wash your body so it's uh yeah it was quite an interesting little product but um we haven't used it in the bath I'm not a massive fan of ginger scents but Alec loves ginger smells so yeah this has got quite a strong ginger smell like a true ginger like not like gingerbread biscuits not like not like McVitie's ginger biscuits but you know when you go to a bakery and they make their own stuff and you get like a little gingerbread man or something it smells like that it's got a spice to it but Alec absolutely loves this stuff so actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to buy him some for Christmas not say anything and just kind of buy him one of these full size because he loves it he's got the body shop ginger one then he's got this other one um I can't remember the make but he got it for Christmas off me I bought him three bottles of it because he loved the smell um and yeah it's just really he really really loves it so yeah that's a definitely a winner the next thing is the Sun Shimmer Instant Tan BB this is in a light matte I've put it in there and I've only used it once I'm probably going to sell it I didn't care for it on me um, I'm very pale and when I put it on I just look like an umpa lumper. I just basically put a bit on and I was like no I cannot wear this I cannot put this on so this was just a big loser for me I think I paid 350 for it um, so if anybody wants to buy it I'm just gonna charge 350 and whatever it costs to post it because this is just not for me I mean it was lovely you could see it was like a matte consistency and it wasn't patchy it was great it's just I think because I'm so pale sometimes these things do tend to come off quite orangey on me so yeah that was not good the next thing is a little sample and it's the Rimmel BB cream it's the matte one and it's in light this is very nice actually would I repurchase it I'm not entirely sure um, it doesn't really have much of a smell it's really really great coverage I have worn this on its own a couple of times um, it's really quite nice even just to do that with but I tend to use it as a base for my makeup to go on top of so I've actually got it on today under what I'm wearing and it just covers redness and things I don't use it every day but every now and then I do like I had a bit of redness this morning I don't know if it's because I've caught a bit sun because over the weekend um, well yesterday I didn't have any makeup on I was kind of bodding about so I don't know I caught some sun while I was outside um but yeah I've got a, just a little bit of redness but I do get rosacea on the cheek anyway this is the Rimmel BB cream sample I have got another one in the drawer and I've got another one to use so I have got a few of these so I will use them all up I may purchase but to be honest I really love my Garnier BB cream which is the one for oily combination skin it's lighter than the original and it doesn't have as much glow I really love that one I also love the Max Factor CC cream so I don't know whether I'd purchase that full size I'm not a Rimmel girl so possibly not but I have enjoyed using it the next thing is another thing that is half full this is again for Petrus Beauty Box this is the Duck Island Mandarin and Bergamot shampoo oh I wanted to love it we all wanted to love it look it's got a lovely bird on it it's very nice it does smell so yummy it's lovely it's got a gorgeous smell but this stuff is exactly like the Jason um Alex used that much of it he was actually eventually just using it as a body wash because he said as a shampoo it pretty much sucked <laughs> he said he was putting an absolute ton and nothing happened literally no lava whatsoever and he found it very frustrating he did go through that much because he was using it as a body wash but basically it was like well that's not really what it is and I'd rather feed back to you about it and how rubbish it is so that is going in the bin it's just yeah I'm glad I got it for free because I would be really annoyed because I think it's about 10 pound I think it's quite a pricey item so I wouldn't want it to pay a full price for that but yeah that was rubbish as well we yeah we didn't like that 
and I've come down to some makeup items and a razor which I'm not going to show you <laughs> all right okay oh right this is something that obviously is full size because it's a pencil eyeliner I don't know you go yeah full size it was actually a sample size that came with something and this is actually the Too Faced Lava Gloss Eyeliner it's horrible it smudges like crazy it runs down your face it doesn't stick it goes patchy it wears off it's horrible I really 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 could not tell you how much I hated this little eyeliner I just can't wait to put that in the bin that's enough said about that <laughs> Um, the next thing is actually from MAC, so I must remember to put that with the rest of my um, Back to MAC items. This is one of the pressed pigments. It's really, really pretty. Um, this one is Enlightening, and it's a beautiful, beautiful silver colour. Really, really nice. Works well over the top of shadows, works well wet on its own. Um, it's got powder in it, so I can kind of show you what that looks like. I could probably use that powder. <laughs> Desperation. But that's what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning on and yeah, I just absolutely love it. And then what I love about it is if you do that with it, because if you want to have a real like glittery, glittery ball finish, if you were going out, if you like, apply it with your finger and kind of just move it across the skin, it comes out as more of sort of a very glittery sort of finish. It just looks fantastic and it's even quite nice on my arm there. So if you were going to a party or something, it's really, really nice. There's like residue in there. Could I use that? No, not really because it's all gone now. I've just done that. <laughs> but yeah, that's lovely. Um, I don't know if, I don't think these are permanent. So that's a bit of a shame, but it's a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. And then the last thing, I finally reached the end of my Clinique. Why would they put that? Look at the white writing on that. It's like, what? <laughs> right, it's the Clinique Moisture Surge Tinted Moisturiser. And this one is in Ivory, which is 02. I did purchase this. I got 01 and 02. I can't remember what 01 is called. I do intend on mixing them. I intend on using ivory when it's like the warmer weather and in the winter kind of go on ivory with a paler colour because I will be a lot paler then. I've actually caught some sun the other day. Yeah, I know. <coughs> kind of going, where is that? <clears throat> So I absolutely love the coverage of this. I've actually worn this many times on its own. No foundation over the top. I know my skin's a lot better now and I'm feeling a lot more confident with it, but I still uh, do have the odd spot because although um, the La Roche-Posay is fabulous skincare and it's totally revolutionized my skin, um, I still get the odd spot because I'm a spot prone person. It's not going to stop you being spot prone. It's just got to help you control your situation, which it definitely does because I can't believe what my skin is like these days. But anyway, this is just fantastic. It's got SPF in, which is really good because I often forget to put mine on. Um, hence the fact I've got brown arms. Brown for me. I got a bit on my chest the other day. <laughs> I'm muffling. Um, yeah, so this is just fantastic. The coverage is lovely. It smells nice. It feels amazing. It just feels like you've got nothing on your skin when you put it on. It just feels really light and fresh. And it's just fantastic. So I was quite sad to get to the end of this sample. Um, but yeah, I did get them full size, which I'm really pleased about. I haven't broke them out of the drawer yet. They're still sealed. I don't want to get them out yet because I actually have other foundations that I'm using at the moment. I just did like a little head count. I've got the Vichy and the um, La Roche-Posay, which I kind of don't count as foundations, even though they are. Because it's just, I don't know, it's kind of weird <laughs> to consider them that. I actually tend to use them more as an under foundation thing. If I'm having a really hectic day at work, I want like a really, really high flawless finish for something I'm doing like an event at work. I'll use them underneath, so I don't tend to think of them. And then I've got the whipped cream one, which I think is Max Factor, which I don't use anymore as foundation. I use it around the eyes if there's any kind of fallout just to kind of touch that up. So the only three, th I've got four foundations on the go. I've got a MAC one, which is very, very near the end. I think I'm only going to get like a couple of more uses out of it. So I'm keeping that for all the events I've got up until the end of the summer term. So once, um, I think that'll be all gone then. Um, and then I'll have to back to MAC it. Um, but yeah, that's just a fantastic foundation. I would get it again. And then the only other ones I've got, I've got three on the go at the moment. I've got Better Skin, which I've got on today, which is lovely, um, which is by Maybelline. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible. And then I've also got the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation, which I'm going to do a review on. Um, I'm going to do that separate from Spacey's Roundup because um, 
just because I am. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to get the Clinique foundations out yet. That was such a long way of getting to that point, wasn't it? That's just me all over. Anyway, yes, that's it. So, put that in the bin. That's it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this 70s video. I kind of feel I've been like all over the place in this video. I'm really sorry about that. But don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'm going to love and leave you there. I've been Spacey's number one girl and this is the colour of my kiss.